Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this was unexpected. I just saw an Instagram post on Mini Philippines that there is a test drive here at the time of filming, uh, February 26 to 28. So I messaged marketing and they allowed me and the team uh, that I am allowed to film the for for Mini today, which is I always wanted to do. So what I'm going to be driving today is this the Mini Cooper five Mini Cooper S5 door hatchback something I've always wanted to drive, the S variant. So differences between the this and the normal uh, base base model is, look, uh, this one's a cleaner looking one against the S, which is has more sportier, uh, sportier kit and a sportier look with the black accents. So I will show you a uh, tour around it first before we have a drive. Oh yeah, if you want to uh, visit Mini Eastwood, you contact Sir Mark C. Perot. Now he will be on assisting you for your future uh, Mini Cooper uh, drives. Thank you so much, sir, for this test drive. So with this being a five door against the three door, it's, it's everything's the same underneath. But the five door has 89 uh, 89 millimeters more bodywork than the three door, hence the longer doors. So uh, it's more practical than the three door in, in terms of like knee space and leg space only. So like in the BMW 2 Cs I, I drove earlier, so this share the same platform. Uh, this is also front wheel drive, has the same gearbox, engines, the, this one, the, exactly, it's exactly this one, the 2 series because this is the base model. And since uh, this 2 liter is also from BMW, it doesn't share some components from the 2 series. And uh, the d DCT of this is also so smooth as the BM, so we will find out later in the review. And the one thing I really want to know, the cliched uh, go-kart handling. So this is the interior of the Mini Cooper 5 door. Let's start with this. And, oh no! You don't... Uh, European and North American markets, it has a extra sun vise here. So this one's ultra fail. But at least the mirror is big enough. So here you have your central console, your infotainment. This is... I know BMW iDrive i dive system is also shared here you have your beautiful uh union jack this is i know this is ambient like this turns on but you can see it so it, since it's dark i said dark on a sunny day uh also the seats are Manually uh, adjusted, so there are no electronics. You still have the tie support. Just watch out for the crumbs. And surprisingly, you have a diff mode, <laughs> diff handbrake. So very rare right now. Uh, you have your glove back here, which is big enough. That's my script. Don't look at that. Anyway, you have your cup holders here. One USB Android socket here. So surprising, there's no central armrest here. But you do at least in some models. Uh, you have flat P paddle gearboxes. So here you have your uh, cruise control adjustments for the radius and cool touch here for the door. Your locks go with the door handle. So that's a cool feature. Uh, so I also hear cool uh, gear select gear stick here. So plus minus. So a bit like a race car feel. The view up top is, is quite surprising. You can see a lot. It look it's kind of seated like an SUV, but it's it's not so it, you can see a lot from this ride height no? one thing before i leave i remembered something tell us i think this is telescopic or tilt up only but look the gauges move with oh yeah it is telescope so the gauges move with you so that's a really really cool feature i just miss a bit the old uh mini this the mini gauges here that is so big you just see it in the middle but anyway that's that's fine so this being a uh, based on three door, just be careful the opening small, but at least you have a door. So feet room, knee room, and headroom. It's quite decent. It's fine. You have a single cup holder here. And just be careful, really, really careful the, with the tunnel in the middle. It's quite big, but I think, yeah, not bad, not bad in the middle. But uh, let's see, uh, you have also here ISO isofix tethers on either side just like in the two seats very familiar looking oh sorry there's no central uh, armrest sorry anyway let's go to the back now oh sorry not electronic here so I should get stop using getting used to that anyway a uh, space here in the back is 278 liters which is 67 more than the three door 
Just put on screen, I forgot how many liters with the seats down. So, even though this is a hatchback, it's quite spacious, so it's not bad. It doesn't, even though this is a five door, it doesn't sacrifice the practicality of the three door. So, with that out of the way, let's go for a test drive. Okay, indeed. Mid mode. Meron din tayong green mode. Ah, wala yung adjust dito sa gitna, no? Wala. Yun yung, ano eh, older model. Ah, per JCW has this in the middle. Um, yung mga bagong JC, dito na rin, sir. Ah, okay, okay. Parang 2014 ata, yung ganun. Tapos meron din tayong sports mode. Mm-hmm. You and I end up in the McDo. Ay, kaso sa ano ata. Ano na there? On the left to. Dito na tayo magpalit, sir. Okay. Light changes for every mode. Pag green, green. Pag mid, yellow. Pag sports, right? Um. Um, put it in this mode. And also cool, ah. You guys left pa the manual handbrake. Ang cool ng heads up display. How many horsepower pala is this, sir? Um, 192. Oh, kaya pala. Lakas pala. How, ano, responsive the transmission? Click, click, click. Change, change. That's so cool. Okay, let's try. Green. Hmm, responsive pa din. Pull back, pull back.
Okay. Okay lang ba, sir? One more? <laughs> Or ano? Balik nyo, sir. <laughs> may tao <laughs> at this sir does this have apple carplay and android auto ah uh, wala pa siya okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm back home. Uh, I had to do my verdict here at home to, for both cars. So I just did the mini now before the BMW. But anyway, I had to do it home because we were, all the shots were done outside. We were so freaking hot that day of filming. But anyway, on my, my verdict on the Mini Cooper, there's not much to complain about. Maybe price, but for what it is, Mini fashion icon luxury car i don't think it's bad just my sister what my sister told me the middle seat where she was filming me where it kept sliding out so it's so it's a bit slippery lang in the middle so as i said earlier just watch out for for the future owners of the mini cooper that, that's really about it with excellent handling excellent transmission uh the suspension is firm but as you see in the back route we're in the in the lander side the back road i could feel the bumps but it wasn't too bad actually it, 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 the ride is comfortable tire noise i don't think i felt that much i def sorry felt i don't think i heard that much of tire noise maybe faster speeds i would have noticed but no not not nothing not, not bad at all oh yeah when i was given the price list also uh there's something i noticed where i'll flip the screen here this is the price list i got yesterday and this is the prices that i got two years ago notice the countryman they got rid of all the diesels the clubman they got rid of the base uh base clubman so they only have the cooper s and the jcw now and lastly they got rid of the mini one five door hatch because i've seen a lot of the reviews online that its price occurred really close to the to the Cooper 5 door hatch, the, the base one. So everyone kept leaning more on to the to the Cooper instead of the one. So yeah, that, I think that's about the, that's about it. And also the funniest thing ever happened in our, both our reviews that day. This did not fail us one single bit. So maybe it's a sign that I should transition to this app Apple uh, tablet. So oh yeah, this was completely shut using an apple ipad been from my father's i think this this been hiding for like a, almost a year now that that my sister found when she was fixing her stuff so i 
it could not uh, use any more drawing apps. That's why she got it out because this was until nine, until updated until only nine iOS nine point two point five. So it gave me an idea. Why don't I use this instead for the filming? So since my mic did not fail, maybe it's the sign I should use this instead. So what do you think is better quality? Should I stick with this Apple iPad Mini or should I go back using my Vivo Y11 phone? And see you very soon with more future reviews.